Um, my name is Kate Corrigan and I'm really, really happy to be here again today to share with you a little piece of Belize in Central America. Um, I have lived here for 10 years and um, was very fortunate to, uh, after bringing up my daughter here, and I'm still bringing her up, she's only 19, but uh, after being here for nearly 10 years, about four years ago, I decided that helping people find their love um, here on the island uh, was something that I wanted to be a part of. As in, the island has many things for people, as does Belize. There's so many different things for you here, uh, whether you like to dive, explore the jungle, I love live music, um, love the, the culture. There really is so much to offer. And I wanted to bring a little bit of that to you whilst you're home. So we too are currently experiencing the effects of the pandemic. Uh, pandemic and uh, we have been quarantined or in a state of emergency in our home since the 22nd of March and today is the 21st of April only allowed out really for essential things uh, food finance or the pharmacy uh, before 10 o'clock and then asked to stay home unless you're in an emergency thereafter uh, luckily, we're allowed to get back out and do a little bit of exercise in the mornings as long as we stay close to home and, and, and uh, make sure that we're exercising social distancing. So I hope that wherever you are in the world, that you are safe and healthy and home and that I can bring a little bit of Belize to you through this virtual open house. So today, what we're going to be looking at is um, we're going to be looking at a beautiful villa um, it has three income producing condos as part of that villa and it stands in a development called La Isla Bonita Yacht Club. Uh, Isla Bonita is a what, how the island is fondly referred to. I'm actually on Ambergris Key and uh, there is a song, La Isla Bonita, from Madonna, whether it was written for this island or not, but we like to claim it. Um, and uh, it truly is an, an, an island of dreams. And, and very, very beautiful here. Um, we have the Barrier Reef, just uh, about 20 minute kayak to the, from, the, from the shore. And uh, we have beautiful diving. It is the second largest and probably the first um, largest living Barrier Reef here in, in, in the world. Um, and we're very fortunate to experience the beautiful stingrays turtles and, and sharks and all sorts of wildlife as well as the coral um, uh, if, if you enjoy to even just snorkel uh, you'll, you'll see so much um, let's move on so today what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a map of the island and where we are um, and then show you how we can get to La Isla Bonita Yacht Club it is if you want to check its website out they do offer vacation rentals um, this property specifically is in the vacation rental program. So if you are planning your trips to come visit, um, you know, you can now get a sneak peek of what it all looks like inside and where you would be staying if you decide to come visit. Um, so let's have a look. I'm going to take you through. I'm going to share my screen with you. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to put them in the chat box. Uh, I'm trying to go live on Facebook here, but it hasn't seemed to be wanting to play uh, play ball with me this morning. Internet is very good here, but unfortunately doesn't always work when we want it to. So um, my website is uh, frontstreetbelize.com. Uh, if you'd like to, you can log in there and take a look at what we have going on. You can search it. Once you, once you get there, we have properties by type. Um, there's condos, lots of lands, or you can church by location. I do have properties that are also listed in Corazon, also uh, the most northern town in Belize. Also, you can look properties by price as well. So you see where your price point is. I always look at everything. You never know. Um, so let's take a look at La Isla Bonita, Villa Isla Bonita. It is a four bed, four bath, multi-unit villa. It actually has three income producing um, condos within it. A uh, two bedroom on the top floor and then two one bedrooms on the bottom floor. It's approximately 1800 square foot. And let's take you through, I'm gonna share the video with you so you can take a look. 
and we can walk through this together. So here we are, this is Isla Bonita. It's actually got 22 buildings in this development. The building here right in the center at the front is the one that we are speaking about today. It's Villa 11 and 12, it's two combined together in this one space. You have two one bedroom, one baths downstairs, both with open plan kitchen and living room. Uh, this is the north side of the ground floor of the building. Perfect for retirement, perfect for just coming and staying. If you have family, you can come as a group. The three units are interconnecting, so you could rent all three, but each of you have your own space. If you came with other family members, perhaps for a wedding or just a joint vacation. It was recent, even though these, these buildings were built in 1989, it shows you how strong they are. Um, it was actually recently renovated in 2017. ACs, new windows, um, kitchens, bathrooms, backsplash, furniture, those types of things were all upgraded. Each of the main living areas do have a sofa sleeper. We are now upstairs in the two bedroom, two bath. This is the open pan living and kitchen area with the guest bar. Good size dining table. There's the sloper sleeper we are speaking about. A nice size kitchen. I might want to put a little island in there or something if I was living there full time. It used to be two apartments. It used to be one bedroom downstairs, one bedroom upstairs on either side. But this owner decided to break that open and make it a really great two bed, two bath on the top. From the living area, you walk out into this wonderful veranda with this wraparound seating. As you walk in, you come into this area and you take a right and there's two bedrooms, both with king size beds. This is the ensuite to one of the bedrooms and you can also access it as well. This is the front bedroom that actually opens out onto a beautiful veranda that also just sits out and looks over onto the lovely water, the dive shop. This is the second one bedroom unit. Again, beautifully decorated in island furnishings. Uh, windows all around that either look out onto the water or onto the beautiful manicured gardens. Ample cupboards and storage space for just a vacation or a single person. This bed is also a king size bed. Windows all around, which I love, keeping it bright and airy. Could you imagine being quarantined here right now? What's wonderful is you can be in this bed and you can look right out through the main living area of this apartment and uh, out onto the ocean, through the windows onto this veranda and this view. Both ground floor have these wonderful verandas and the upstairs on either side from the one from the bedroom and one from the main, main living area. You see the going across there just beyond that is the barrier reef. Let me see if I can rewind that a little bit. We can look at it together. So just here, let me get rid of these ads. So here you can see this crest right here. This is the, the barrier reef and that shows you how close it is. We have a dive shop here and also these docks, they are available for hire. Should you have your own boat, there is plenty of room for you to, to keep it there. I'm gonna take you on a map so you can see where we are. So here is Belize, Central America. You can see we're on the border of Guatemala and Mexico. Uh, here's Chetumal. There's as many people in Chetumal, Mexico, as there is in the entire country of Belize, right here, and its surrounding islands. So when you arrive in Belize City, you either take a boat or a puddle jumper across to Ambergris Key. Ambergris Key is an island approximately 28 miles long, mile wide at its widest point. Uh, give or take, there's different ideas on that. I certainly won't argue it. Um, and uh, you can get there here by boat or by plane. There are two commercial um, providers of those services. Both excellent, both types of journey. You'll, you'll definitely love the adventure. Ambergris Key, is, the center of town is... Uh, 
about here. This area is the center of town known as San Pedro town. Um, and you would arrive on this airstrip here or on the boat here. And then you would take, you would head south down Coconut Drive, which takes you directly to La Isla Bonita Yacht Club. And if you are looking online, you can see, and you can go right to their website and book. They are on bookings.com. The property management are on site. So uh, you can see them on bookings.com, Airbnb, um, any platform that you might want to book through, they are certainly available. So here we're gonna take a look through the pictures now. So this is the top floor, and this was the bedroom that we looked at in the video. And here is the, um, kitchen living area and these two verandas look right out onto the ocean there's the downstairs uh one bedroom and then on the other side of this wall is the other one bedroom one bath and that is the access to the upstairs as i say each of these are interconnecting so you could rent all three if your family was visiting it's a great opportunity um and you, uh, it being two bed upstairs if you have children you can also have them in the same space rather than having a uh, them in being in the living area so you can step right out of your door here it is a gated community they do have security all evening and full staff during the day they have a wonderful property management and the groundskeepers they oversee the groundskeepers and everything um, the property itself is about 1800 square foot including up and down and verandas um, the uh, villa is three four bedroom and four bath in its entirety. The property tax is 371 US dollars per year. The HOA is 1,321 per month. You do have three income producing units here and one whole villa. Usually these are sold separately, one side and one side and would be owned by two different people. This one was actually made into one unit with all of these income producing um, property, income producing condos. So you have the grounds included in the HOA, the external maintenance um, of the uh, pool, the bar area that is for guests only. Um, you also have the dock and um, there is uh, cisterns underneath the homes that actually supply water to um, keep the gardens beautiful so that when you come, it will be all nice for you. Uh, there we have a bit more of an overview of these units. The property management is on site. They do charge a 70-30 split, I believe. And these things do change. And the, as, as a member of the HOA, you do actually get a vote. You, own a, you, you have a share in the ownership of the land now that surrounds your villa as well. So you would be able to vote and talk about you know, the, the pros and cons of the property management. If you wanted to change it, you could always put a vote in. There is a board. And I do believe, as with any HOAs, there are, you know, there, there are uh, disputes and there are worries, but they always get them sorted out. And there aren't that many uh, individual owners within this development that, that, that things can't be sorted out very, very soon and quick. And as you can see, once you sit on your veranda, um, you are so close to town. Here is uh, Blue Water Grill, just here. You've got Ramon's Village. This is Ramon's Dock. You can, I actually swim from this dock up to Ramon's Dock and back as a part of my exercise. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, this is a great swim from Ramon's Dock and back. As long as you go before the boats start leaving and, uh, and, and after the, the, uh, the dawn, um, you know, usually uh, at about 6.30 is a good time, 6.30, 7 o'clock. Um, swim with swimming buoys, so you make sure that the boat traffic can see you because they do fish for pilchards and, and sardines, at that, pilchards, but sardines at that time of the morning. So you have to look out. It really is lovely. Yeah, I come out here. This is my morning walk. I walk across here every day. Um, when we're allowed to go back in the ocean, I will be going from this dock and taking a swim in this lovely area. They do actually have a man-made um, dock at the end, man-made um, reef at the end here. And I've seen so much wildlife 
uh, lionfish and um, lobster and conch and fish of all different colors and it, just at the very end of the dock it's, it's absolutely stunning here is how close the reef is if you see this crest that's how close it is so you could uh, take your kayak bonk it in the water right here and off you go you can start going over there swimming snorkeling with the sharks it's quite good fun that is about it really uh, you have so let me just run through it again we're looking at a whole a standalone villa within the isla bonita yacht club and um, resort uh, it is um, 1800 square foot uh, property tax 300 371 per year HOA about 1300 per month um, it's uh, you have an on-site pool, a dock with room to dock your boat. Um, you've got a dive and tour operator right there in front of you. Nightly security, um, online on-site property management. Should you decide to put it into the rental pool, it is turnkey ready and currently been generating an income over the last few years. Um, recently renovated uh, in uh, in 2017 so we now, now do have like a, a full year of it being uh, rented again uh, it has city sewer sewage cable internet everything that you could need and the fact that it has three income producing units means that you could actually just live in one and rent the others which would help pay for the running costs and also help sustain your life here it really does have unbelievable um, opportunities you're so close to town and whether you're looking at purchasing in the future or coming to stay this really is a lovely lovely property uh, my name again is Kate Corrigan and it's been a pleasure to bring a little piece of Belize to you today while we are all quarantined in our homes I can't wait to welcome you if you'd like to get in touch with me you can private message me in this uh, you can make comments and ask questions within this group chat um, and you can also uh, uh, call me and let's arrange a time for us to get together my email address is kate at frontstreetbelize.com my telephone number is 321 300 9399 if you're wanting to call me um, from and that is a um, US number that I have here in Belize that comes through to my phone um, or you can WhatsApp me um, on my Belize number which is Belize 501-632-4102. I would love to hear from you. Do keep in touch. Reach out. Let me know how you're doing. Stay home. Stay safe and stay healthy and I look forward to welcoming you to Belize very very soon.